This is going to be the best video you've ever watched in terms of understanding how you can create any type of AI content you've ever seen on the internet. Whether you want to create Pokemon evolution videos like this, Or maybe you want to create hyper-realistic AI influencers that actually have facial consistency like this. Or maybe you want to create your own AI cinematic masterpiece like this. want to make sure you watch every single second of this video because these tools and techniques are basically how you can create anything you want. So first of all, let's talk about the basic workflow because just about every single AI video that I create is going to be some version or some variant of this workflow, which is this. First, you'll obviously want to generate an image inside of any image generation tool of your choice. Personally, I will either use Flux or Mid Journey for this. Next, I will always run my images through Magnific because no matter what you do, most AI pictures are going to look sort of, you know, airbrushed and stuff like that. And so running it through Magnific adds a lot of intricate detail and a lot of realism, as you can see in, you know, the girl's face and this dog, its fur and its eyes and everything. And finally, I will bring the image to life using Kling AI. Now, obviously, you can use runway or luma or whatever it is that you prefer this is just my favorite image to video tool at the moment so the first question i get a lot is people will generally ask you know how am i able to get my videos to look so cinematic like this and so getting a cinematic video really comes down to starting with a cinematic image so when i'm trying to create a cinematic image i will generally include the term dslr photorealistic and many times i will also add dynamic cinematic lighting and then again running this through magnific as you can see it really takes away that airbrush look and adds a lot of realism to the image and finally when you're using Kling ai the most important thing is to make sure you have this on professional mode because that is basically what's going to retain all of those intricate details and the cinematic look from Magnific. Then you can come up here to the motion brush and this is going to allow you to create you know certain types of motion or movement and so here I'm just going to click on this auto segmentation so that I can just start selecting the pieces that I want to control. In this case I just want to control the entire character so I'm just going to select uh, the entire guy right here and then if I come over and click track I can now control the motion of this guy so if I want him to go left I can simply create a line telling him to go left if I want him to go right I can create a line making him go right or in the case of this scene I want him to kind of turn around and look at the battlefield so in this case I'm creating this kind of looped arrow to where he's going to turn around and look towards the battle and after doing that here's what we got this is using no text prompt at all however I did try the same thing but this time using a text prompt that says a man looks toward a battlefield the camera slowly zooms toward the battlefield and this one also came out pretty awesome. But what if the histories are wrong and Genghis Khan was actually a monstrous werewolf and that's how he actually took over and established the Mongol Empire? Genghis Khan's success wasn't just due to military genius. It was whispered that he carried a secret far darker. Under the light of the full moon, his true nature was revealed. His transformation gave him unparalleled strength, speed, and a predatory instinct that terrified both enemies and allies alike. Well, if that was the case, I would bring our little clip from Genghis Khan walking towards the camera. I'm going to pause it on the last frame right here and take a screenshot by clicking export frame. Then I generated this werewolf inside of Midjourney, upscaled it in Magnific, and now bringing our screenshot into Photoshop, I'm gonna bring our werewolf right here and come down here to remove the background. 
And now we have our werewolf right here. So I'm just going to size that up a bit to cover up our Genghis Khan. And now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit around the edges and that should be good enough. So now I'll just export it here. And at this point, I wanna turn on this add in frame. I'm gonna bring in the screenshot of Genghis Khan right there. And then I'll bring in the werewolf version of him right here. And now here on the prompt, I'm gonna just add on walks toward the camera and becomes a werewolf. All right, now one more thing to note here is that Kling has a hard time morphing characters on professional mode for whatever reason. And so in this case, I'm gonna switch this back to standard mode and we'll hit generate. The good thing about this is that it only costs 10 credits in standard mode. The quality is not as good as it would be on professional mode, but it still looks pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna do one with just the wolf alone so that we can extend the clip a little bit with just the wolf walking. But in the spirit of rewriting history, we now have to add a narration. So I'm in chat GPT and I said, you are a history channel narrator. Tell me a 30 second narration explaining that Genghis Khan was actually a werewolf and that's why he was successful establishing the Mongolian empire. And so here is my little script. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it into 11 labs. I'm gonna choose this voice, George, so I'll click use. And now I'm just gonna click the generate speech. In the vast steppes of Central Asia, one man rose to power with a speed and brutality unmatched in history. But Genghis Khan's success wasn't just due to military genius. It was whispered that he carried a secret far darker. So there you have it. I now have a narration for our very historically accurate uh, documentary. So after getting those clips from Kling, I now have those three clips, one of him just walking, then it transitions to him transforming to a werewolf, and then finally the last clip is just him as a wolf chilling right there. And now I have my narration from 11 Labs, I'm gonna drop it in right here. All right, so obviously I'll have to trim this narration down to make it fit these clips. The next thing you'll want to do is come into Artlist to choose a soundtrack or alternatively you can use Suno to generate a soundtrack with AI. I use both of these tools when I am getting non-copyright music. Then I'll come over here to Storyblocks and just type in particles and this is where we're going to find you know these different little particle overlays and stuff like that. From here I would just click the download button and download the overlay. To add the overlay, I'm just going to drag it into the project right here. But as you can see, we obviously don't want it to look like this. So what you wanna do is come to your effects controls right here. I'm obviously using Premiere Pro right here. So in Premiere Pro, you would come right down here to blend mode. I'm gonna click that. And then I'm just gonna come up to where it says screen right here. And now as you can see, it removed the black, but we still have the particles on the screen here. Most editing tools are gonna to have some sort of similar function. So if you're not using Premiere Pro, then just look for something similar on whatever editing software that you use. And then for sound effects, you can come back into 11 Labs, come right here to where it says sound effects, and then you can basically just generate any sound effects that you need. In this case, I'll just type in a group of warriors yelling and hit generate. Then you can just come down and preview your sound effects. <laughs> and click this button to download. And so after putting it all together in Premiere Pro, here's what we got. Genghis Khan's success wasn't just due to military genius. It was whispered that he carried a secret far darker. Under the light of the full moon, his true nature was revealed. His transformation gave him unparalleled strength, speed, and a predatory instinct that terrified both enemies and allies alike. But what if you want to become the character in your story? Well, in this case, all I did was generate the character walking towards the camera using the prompt, a warrior walks confidently toward the camera. Then you can come down here to lip sync and you can click this button here to upload your audio, or you can just use one of the default voices if you want and type in your text here. And after doing that, I ended up with this clip right here. But what if you want to become the character in your story? And from there, I use a tool called Pinocchio for the face swap. You essentially just upload your reference image here and then you put in your video clip that you want the face to be put onto right here. 
and then it's going to go ahead and swap out the face. This is definitely the best face swapping tool that I've used. However, it can be somewhat tricky to set up, so I'd recommend you come over to Tim's channel right here from Theoretically Media. He has a really good tutorial right here on how to set up Pinocchio, so you'll definitely want to check that out. Now you can also use a variant of this workflow if you're trying to create you know an ai influencer and you want that influencer to be consistent and be able to place this influencer into all different kinds of scenes and settings and so on so the first step there is that you obviously have to create your ai influencer this is the tool that i use to create characters it's called artflow in fact if you come to my youtube channel right here i have a demonstration that you can watch if you want to see more details about this tool but the reason you don't want to use mid journey or something like that for this is because if you're trying to create a consistent influencer and you're doing that inside of mid journey a lot of times the facial structure will be different the body type will be different and so if you're using a tool like this it's going to retain you know the facial structure the body type, you know, everything like that, which is obviously important if you're trying to have a consistent AI influencer. All right, so in this tool, I'm gonna come and make sure this is nine by 16 aspect ratio for Instagram and TikTok. It's already inserted my trained influencer. It's already started my prompt with dynamic portrait of Kira. Kira is the name of this AI influencer. And so I'm just gonna paste the rest of the prompt here and we're going to click generate. This tool also allows you to, you know, place the character in these different positions or you can come to director mode and you can place the character however you want or turn the character around like so. In any case, here's what I got from that prompt and so we'll just take one of the pictures here. We'll use this one for example, and like always I ran this through Magnific. And generally this is where you sort of lose the identity of your character but again we're not going to worry about that quite yet the main thing is we just want to make sure that the facial structure is correct and the body type is correct and everything like that and after running it through cling here's what i ended up with right here and it actually did a pretty good job retaining the face on this one a lot of times after you run it through cling that's really when you lose the face and you start to get some distortion and things like that but either way it doesn't really matter because again we're going to be using pinocchio to bring the face back and for this influencer i would use this same exact reference image on every single clip so we get the same exact face on every single clip and then i'll add in the video that i just got from cling so we can bring that original face back onto the character I'll come down and hit start and now it will render this clip and just like that we now have our clip of our AI influencer so using this method you can put your influencer into many different scenes and settings and your influencer will be able to retain a consistent face a consistent body type and everything else when I look at you it seems so damn easy to By the way, if you want to see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best, I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Now, one of the other questions that I get asked a lot is people will always ask, you know, what prompt are you using? or how do I prompt this, how do I prompt that? So let's say you're scrolling along on Instagram and you happen to come across you know, something really cool that you want to create, you know, a similar style or something like that. This is pretty cool, for example. So let's say I wanted to create something similar. I'm just going to take a screenshot right here. Then I'm gonna to come to the Creator Secrets School community. I'm gonna open up the classroom right here. I'm gonna click start here and I'm gonna to come to this little module called Prompt Magic. This is a resource that's available to all of the members on the Creator Secrets School community. And so now all I have to do is click on the dump folder. I'm gonna drop in my screenshot right here. Then I'm gonna come back to the school community, click this button to run it. And now I'm just gonna pop open the output folder and it's going to generate that prompt for me. So now we can see this folder that says Enchanted Encounter Dragon and Maiden. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna open up this document and now I have a prompt to create a similar style of content. So if I were to paste this in mid journey, I'll go ahead and rerun that a few times. So we have some options. 
And so here's what we ended up with right here. Now this is obviously not exactly like this image. It interpreted this as a dragon's head. And so here we're seeing this giant dragon, but obviously this is gonna give you a good foundation to work from. And then you can obviously, you know, tweak the details to get the exact look that you're going for. But honestly, I think the ones that it came up with here are even actually a bit cooler than the one on Instagram. So that's basically how you can get your prompts instantly if you see something really cool on the internet and you want to do something similar. So just about every type of AI video that you see on the internet is using some combination of these tools and methods. But again, if you want to see how to actually monetize this type of content effectively, be sure to join us in the Creator Secrets school community. In any case, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next video.